This is Fenrir, and this is his gadget. In this video, I'm going to be going into every single objective of every single ranked map and showing you how I would set up Fenrir's gadget for each map, starting off with Oregon. So starting things off then with the basement objective on Oregon. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is head over into Blue Bunker. And obviously the first place you're going to be putting one is above this doorway. So if anyone comes in swinging down this corridor, then they are going to be blinded or you'll at least know when they are pushing. On top of this, if you come down this side of Blue Bunker, normally there is a rotate here. If you do have a rotate here, you can chuck another one on this little corner here. So when they try come around for a quick peek, they once again will get hit by your dread mine and when you're playing in this area of the map you will know when they're pushing and when they have proceeded all the way up to this corner so you can swing and obviously nine times out of ten you're not going to be running this shotgun this is just for demonstration purposes as for the other three objectives then i like to chuck one in freezer just so we know if anyone is coming freezer you can also sit one over by the stairway you can either put one on this doorway or if you want to be alerted slightly sooner as to when they are coming you can hide one around here maybe even the top of that is a good spot because they're not going to be able to see it on the way down if they get to this point they're going to be hit by it and they're not really going to be looking above their head now the final dread mine is really up to you it's all down to preference and how you like to play the basement objective but what i usually do is stick one around this side of the map this staircase is always going to be a focus point for the attacking team and obviously there's not really any great spaces to hide it on this staircase itself so what i like to do is chuck it on the bottom of this because when the attackers get to this point on the stairs that is when they're hit by this dread mine uh, and that is when their vision is going to be limited until they reach the bottom of the stairs but by that point the effect has already taken place and it will take a few seconds to wear off so that is the basement objective let's move over to the next one Moving on to our next objective then, we are now in Kitchen and Meeting Hall, and this one is a lot harder of an area to defend as there is a lot more possibilities for them to enter, especially considering that there is a hatch. Now what I like to do is I like to push out my uh, my dread mines a little bit further out on this objective. I like to stick one on this doorway because I always find enemies try entering through that side of the map. Then coming up actually into the Dining Hall, this is another area of the map where a lot of attackers like to funnel through towards the end of the round. What I like to do is try hide one of my dread mines around here. What I like to do is try stick it as close to the middle as possible, not on the chair leg, just so that when they approach from either side, uh, it, it's a lot harder to see from both sides. And then coming down to our next one is actually in kitchen corridor. I like to stick one on top of this um, doorway here because when attackers come pushing through, not only are they going to be slightly limited on a longer range site, but on top of that, when they enter through this objective uh, and this one here is activated, you're just going to know when to be careful uh, when peeking this. Now, as for your final two, uh, it really depends on, once again, how the site is set up. If you have uh, rotates going through this side of the objective, what I like to do is try and fortify this side of the map a lot more. I find that when attackers push through this side of the map, they always seem to go this way instead of this way. But if they do then they're not really going to get hit by your dread mine. So you can also put one uh, on that doorway as well. Either way, that is the way I would set up kitchen and meeting hall. Let's move over to the next one. Now, the next objective is actually very similar because it takes place once again in the kitchen area. This time, it's going to be kitchen and dining hall. Now, most times out of 10, this wall is going to be reinforced. So all the three that you put in this uh, room before, uh, it's not really going to be as useful. What I would do is once again, put one top of that doorway. Now, if they do come through that way, they are going to see that. So stick one maybe around the middle under that little chair there, or you could just stick one on that doorway. Rotating back around onto objective then, I like to stick one either on the top of this doorway or obviously just one here and with my last two i like to set one up on that doorway that is a crucial one to put because this is covering this whole side of the map and if you want to be a little bit extra a little bit more secure you can always stick a, a sneaky one here or you can stick a sneaky one on top of there if you are putting that one down over there then i do recommend you do move this one up to on top of this uh, doorway and it's really just going to be a lot better for you with that being said though let's move over to what i believe is the final objective on oregon uh, and then we can move on to our next map 
So here we are then on the final objective. This is going to be the one that takes place in the, the kids' bedroom and dorms room. Uh, obviously, the main focus point of this entire objective usually funnels through this window here, this staircase, uh, and then these two entry points on the map. Now, for this objective, because there's so many different attacking possibilities for you, uh, you basically just got to want to put one on each of the entry points. Now, for me, I like to stick one on the top of the stairs. Once again, you'll just know when people are coming up the stairs. That, in combination with barbed wire, uh, it's really going to make it a lot slower and harder for attackers to push up this staircase. Now, there's not really too much you can do with this window, so you're just going to have to put one on top of that. Now, nine times out of ten, there's going to be a rotate here, so sticking one on the top side of this doorway is going to be no good. Plus, I could just shoot it from in there. Now, what I like to do is hide it behind here. That way, if they break this barricade, you're going to know because it makes a loud sound cue, and then once they drop down, that's when you're going to know to swing when that FNAT Dreadmine goes off. Now, what I would do is reinforce this. You can always open that hatch up for a spare rotate if you want to. And then moving on to our last two, you can either put one straight on this doorway. If you are doing that, you've got to be careful of the window. So what I would do is I'd place it on a lower area of the map uh, so that this window doesn't have a sight line onto this dread mine. But if you want uh, to keep this area of the map to yourself and you kind of want to make it harder for them to push into this side of the map, what I would recommend is stick one on top of that doorway. And then once again, go down to the staircase. You can either put one in this corridor uh, or you could just stick one on the top of the stairs i like to stick one on the top of the stairs uh, and then play this area of the map would probably be best either way that is how i would set up the dorm room objective on oregon that is all of the objectives covered for this map so let's move over to our next map so here we are then on Clubhouse. We're going to be starting off in the basement objective. And once again, we're just going to cover up the clear entry points of the objective. Now, for the first one, we're going to cover the utility room. What I'm going to do is just chuck one up there to cover anyone coming down this side of the objective. And then just to make it a little bit extra secure, because majority of the attackers do like pushing through this way, uh, I do like to stick a second one up on there. Now, one that I actually find works quite well is if anyone does push into dirt, putting it... Uh, a Fenrir gadget up on that little bit of the wall there really does help catch them off guard and then if you find yourself like 30 seconds a minute into the round and you realize no one is pushing dirt then you can always come back in and pick it up uh, and use that later on in the round but that is just a sneaky one that i'd like to let you guys know about before we move on so coming down the basement hallway then i actually just like to stick one on top of this wall uh, and then i like to stick a second one up on that part as well so when they come down the staircase they're going to get hit by a dread mine if they manage to find it and shoot it then they gotta worry about when they push in it's once again going to trigger when they walk in uh, it's probably better off to put it on that side of the doorway actually and then any Anyone who's playing in the memorial room or in church can swing this uh, and take advantage of it fully. Now, with your last dread mine, what I like to do is actually hide it on the objective. Now, the most common place for the attackers to try and plant uh, is around this point, and to get to it, they usually come through this side of the map and push up and round. So, what I like to do is actually hide this one on the objective because you kind of have a spare one left over. Majority of the map and all the entry points are already covered, and if you pick up the one from dirt, I like throwing it onto the objective so that if at any point during the late round they try pushing onto this objective one you're going to know about it because it's going to set it off and you'll be able to get that visual cue of when it gets detected but on top of that when you are then pushing them and trying to stop them from planting you're going to have a much better advantage and you're going to allow yourself a lot easier access to stopping them either way i do think this is the best setup for the basement objective on clubhouse experiment with it and let me know what you find works best now, the final objective actually takes place in the bar area. Now, I don't think this is too popular of an objective. Whenever I seem to get Clubhouse, no one picks this in my ranks games. So it's only a quick match that I really play on this objective. But it's actually quite a hard one to set up with Fenrir. So if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I would say try to avoid playing Fenrir for this objective unless you really want to. With that being said, though, what I would do is make sure you cover the entry point of this objective. Now, if you put one on the main door, Doorway. yes it can be seen from over here but what we're going to do is actually play in this area kind of as a loose roamer for Fenrir for this objective so what I like to do is literally lock down this area of the map chuck one there maybe even chuck one on top of there as well and now you only have two more gadgets to worry about and what you're going to want to do is set up these two for your team and you're going to want to try and keep these two active now what I like to do uh, is stick one just under this doorway here so that when they come in 
in it's going to detonate and let the team know and then for the final fnat dread mine it's quite obvious we need to plug up this area of the map now you can hide it down in the hallway like this as you come down this hallway you're not going to see it at all until you get to this point and then it's going to detonate but if they come through this side of the map and they come through the toilet area one they're going to be able to shoot it very easily and destroy it but they're also not going to detonate any Fenrir gadgets on the way through there's a clear path straight to objective and this is why uh, i find it very hard to set up uh, a Fenrir for this objective which is why the only real option you have left is to just stick one on top of the doorway so that if anyone enters the objective then they are notifying your teammates of their location with that being said then let's move on to the next objective now next up we kind of have the opposite of the last objective this is the objective that i would say Fenrir is probably the strongest probably in the entire game actually this is probably one of the strongest objectives you can hold as Fenrir and the real reason is because it's just so good like there's so many good placements for his uh, gadgets the first dread mine comes by placing it on top of the stairs uh, this once again in combination with the barbed wire is going to be very strong and really slow down the attackers from coming up that side of the map next up you can always try hard hide one around the stairs area of the map now the the best way to do it isn't by hiding it on the actual catwalk itself but once again by hiding it on the stairs they will be able to gain access to this part of the map and play this area but as soon as they try coming up these stairs that's when their view is going to get limited and they're not going to be able to shoot back at you uh, and that is when you're going to want to swing peek uh, and try and get the kill coming back to the cctv room then uh, what i like to do is actually hide one of these dread mines on the actual objective i like putting one where that bucket usually is because no one really checks that uh, and then the rubble can sometimes cover it up a lot better than that and what that means is if anyone tries jumping in to uh, catch anyone off guard over there uh, that's gonna stop them from doing that or at least try and make it a lot easier for the defending person to get that kill now with your last two dread mines you are going to be setting up this side of the map what i like to do is either put one on the side of this that's going to make it so anyone who's coming in from this side isn't going to see it until this point and that's when it's going to get set off and you'll already know about it uh, and if they jump through the window they're literally not even going to see it while coming around this side of the objective and if you want extra security you can always chuck one directly on top of this doorway here as well or you can try hide one like back here or something but i think the safest one is this one because it's definitely not going to get shot with that being said that is once again the best setup for this objective let's move over to the final objective in the bedroom here we are then in the bedroom objective and the one downside for playing this objective is obviously you're not going to get any coverage for anyone playing on the window so what you're going to try and do uh, is stop the people um, from dealing any damage if they jump through it now nine times out of ten once again you're going to have some kind of footholds here maybe a rotate going up over on this side of the map and if you do come through this side uh, it's really good to stick another Fenrir on this window as well so if anyone makes it into gym they get triggered by the Fenrir now the next thing you're going to want to do uh, is put one on the stairs somewhere now you can do this once again top of staircase but as you can see this is quite high up so it's not actually going to trigger for very long if at all so what i like to do uh, it's kind of hide it in plain sight i'm just going to stick it right at the bottom of the staircase there so when they come around this corner they're going to be aiming up you know they're going to be keeping their sights up shooting the camera and stuff like that and they're not really going to be paying attention to their feet here and the next one actually comes in logistics office and this one is actually one of my favorite ones because you can actually hide it in the bookshelf here uh, and basically what that means oh hang on so what that means is if anyone drops the hatch or they come through this wall or whatever and make it into this area when they try and swing and have a look that is when you, the mine is going to detonate and it's going to cut off their lines of sight as per usual and then for this final one i just like to stick it on the other side of the doorway in construction now the only real vulnerability uh, for this setup is going to be this construction window the only real changes you can make is by changing this dread mine to a dread mine in this corner or something like that this one could actually be a better option because it limits the longer lines of sight that they have obviously you're going to reinforce that you could always open up this hatch if you wanted to as well but nine times out of ten you should be fine with that being said then that is every objective on the map clubhouse let's move over to our next ranked map 
So here we are then on the next map that we're going to be focusing on. It's going to be the brand new reworked consulate. First thing i got to say is I'm so glad they kept the radio, but unfortunately we can't be listening to that. So the first place you're going to be putting your Fenrir gadget comes in the corridor at the bottom of yellow stairs. We're just going to chuck a Fenrir gadget on this. Anywhere in this top right hand corner will be the hardest for it to be spotted. Now the next thing we're going to be targeting is this main wall because once the hard breaches do eventually open this up, if they do, if they don't you can always come back and uh, pick up some of your Fenrir gadgets. But what I like to do is stick another Fenrir gadget right Right at the bottom in this corner here as you can see there is kind of a lip on it so until the attackers actually walk in this isn't going to be spotted very easily uh, and once they've come in i also like to stick one by the front tire of this red car as well so once again if they try and get a plant off in the corner they're going to come around this corner probably be watching uh the rotate that we're going to have up in this wall uh, and then once they get to this point you're going to get hit with a Fenrir gadget and anyone playing in the cafeteria area is going to get a very good sight line on an attacker that is going to be completely blind. Moving out from cafeteria then we're going to go down this hallway and place our full Fenrir gadget down this long little hallway here. This is going to basically just give us any intel if anyone's coming down this side of the map. And then the final Fenrir gadget we have two potential placement places. We've got the side of the locker here which is obviously going to be good for anyone who's made it up to this point and is now swinging this objective. But as we know uh, it's not really going to give us very long lasting protection so the next place we can put it is either in these two corners are good spots but that's only going to be for spiral staircase uh the place i like to put them is either in this top corner or in this top corner and sometimes i like to hide it uh, just here as well as another decent spot that I've been working with from this doorway No one's really going to be looking at it uh, and the real use for it is with anyone who comes down this stairs uh, Obviously, they're going to swing here and as soon as they try peek this hallway You're going to get a great angle onto them and one thing that I would recommend if you create like some head holes here um, And reinforce this side what you can do uh, is swing this uh, and get an angle on there and It's just a great way of utilizing it. So as soon as you see that uh, gadget gets detonated all you got to do is just come around, swing, uh, and take advantage of the attacker that will be blind. But with that being said, let's move on to the next bomb site. So here we are then on the next objective. It's obviously going to be server room and tellers. Now, I actually love what they've done to this objective on this map. It's so much easier to get in between both bomb sites now. Before the rework, it was so bad to defend this uh, bomb site, but now it's actually not too bad. Now, what you're going to want to do is either stick one literally in this doorway on top of the door always works, or you can actually stick them maybe behind on these pillars or just down where I like to put them right here. So, uh, with a gadget there, obviously that's going to be active. All you're going to want to do is wait for them to come around this corner. Uh, you can be either playing this area of the map. You can play behind this barricade here. So as soon as you know that there's uh, an attacker there, all you got to do is swing this area with your MP7 or your shotgun. Uh, and then make light work of them. Now the next attacking point is quite key. You're going to want to stick one on top of this um, doorway in the service stairs area. This wall is going to be completely reinforced because from what I found out, uh, they always try and open up this wall. This is a key wall on this objective. So you're going to want to make sure that that area of the map is secure. Now with my last three, I'm actually going to kind of make the bomb sites a little bit more safer. So what I'm going to do is throw my first one down on that doorway. It gives us a little bit extra time um, for them to come up can also push this back slightly further and chuck it up maybe up on here so that when they come around this angle uh, you get a sight line like that and that's gonna allow you just a few extra vital seconds until you can use it but then the final place that we're gonna put it is one in this room because they're gonna work their way through this doorway now one on the other side of this little coffee machine is gonna be great because you're gonna be warned just before they come through this doorway uh, so it's gonna give you a little bit more reaction time uh, on where they're coming from and then once again kind of similar to what we did with the other objective which are gonna come around here uh, and stick one on this side of the doorway and now this makes it so if they come through basement this way uh, until they reach this point uh, you're gonna know where they're coming from now the only thing I've got to say is this area of the map is brand new and it's an area of the map that they might try utilize so make sure you come over here and reinforce this wall because otherwise there is going to be an easy way onto the objective which isn't being guarded by your Fenrir gadgets 
But with that being said, let's move over to the next one and let's see what that one has in store for us. Here we are then on the next objective. We've got Exposition Room and Piano. This is going to be a pretty interesting one to defend because there is actually a room here with uh, a window. And if you place the Fenrir gadget down on there, you're going to know exactly when they're coming through there. So that will be the first placement of your Fenrir gadget. The next one is actually going to be in Lounge. We're going to kind of secure this area of the map. You can either put one on top of this doorway or if you want a little bit more time, a little bit more warning of which area of the map they're coming through, you can always put one there or if you want to guard both of these doorways you can always stick one in this area here if you chuck on there no one who's come around this corner is really going to be focusing right down there so they'll come around here it will activate you'll know what area of the map they're coming from uh, and same if they come through this way as well they're going to be looking this way uh, and you're going to know that they're coming from this direction the next one that is going to be placed is right there above this lounge doorway going straight into the main stairs area of the map which leaves us with two more Fenrir gadgets uh, and you're really going to want to secure this side of the map with yellow stairs so what i like to do place one on top of the doorway uh, from yellow stairs a lot of people are going to be trying to come from up from basement uh, and down from top floor through this way so this is going to be a vital area of the map to secure and what i would do is take it one step further by sticking one on this doorway as well so if they take out that one or they jump through this window uh, they're going to be able to push up to about here before it then hits them uh, and then you're going to be able to take full advantage of that i would really reinforce that make sure you get the hatch you don't want coming through there overall that is the best site setup in my opinion for Fenrir without further ado then let's move over to what I believe is the final objective for the brand new consular map here we are then on the final objective. This is going to be the um, the console office and the, what's this room called again? The meeting room. So this is going to be the final objective. Uh, this window here is going to be a main focus point for this objective. Once again, similar to the one downstairs, uh, we're going to want to put a Fenrir gadget right here. So as soon as they come through, they're going to be limited uh, by their view. So you can swing uh, and get the most out of that. The next one is actually going to come over here by this little drop down. We're going to want to put either one or two here. Now, I highly recommend you put one uh, on the staircase i don't know how that is landed like that uh, but what you're going to want to do is again it's done it like that whatever but you're going to want to stick on there so if anyone comes up the staircase they're going to get hit uh, and you're going to know about it if anyone jumps through skylight you're going to know about it straight away uh, and once again you can secure this even further by chucking another one on this corner and that is a very high traffic area of the map that's why i put two there uh, and it's actually a lot more likely that you're going to be able to get someone if there's two of them there because they're probably not going to expect you to put all of your gadgets in one spot now one thing you can do is for main spiral staircase put one on top of the doorway there you probably don't want to put it there like that you probably want to put it actually on top like that with the addition of this brand new window and a very easy way to get up to this window uh, a lot more people are going to be coming through this area of the map so i'm just warning you guys about that that is a key part of the map that you need to now worry about and finally the last place we're going to put it is just on this doorway once again because this is actually going to be a great entry point for the attackers as you can see, you're very covered while getting through here. Uh, you don't really have to worry about C4s because where it's such a narrow room, uh, no C4s are going to be coming up through that. So all you really got to worry about when entering through this way is that room there. As an attacker, obviously, as an attacker point of view. Uh, and as a defender, it's going to be quite hard to hold this area of the map. So that's why you need a Fenrir gadget there to know if anyone's playing there to give yourself the upper, uh, upper hand so that you can pre-fire it and stuff like that. But that is where I put all my Fenrir gadgets on this objective that is it for the consulate map i actually really like this rework i think it's going to be a great addition to the game and i love what they did with that second bomb site the one where it's in tellers and in the security room Either way then, let's move over to our next ranked map and let's see what we got in store over there. Here we are then on the next objective and as you can see, we are going to be starting in the basement objective in Bank. Now to start things off, you're going to put the first few uh, dread mines on this side of the map. I find majority of the attackers either push through here or through the garage area of the map. So what I like to do is use up three dread mines on this area. I like putting one on top of here for dirt and I also like putting one just around this corner up here. 
so that if anyone comes down these stairs, not only is it going to alert anyone playing in the server room to their presence before they swing around uh, and get you, it also gives them a chance to react and shoot back and stuff like that. The third FNAT Dreadmine is actually going to go on top of this doorway so that once they do eventually take server room, then you've got another little secure area to do it. And nine times out of ten, you're going to have someone playing in this little corridor uh, so that if this actually detonates you can then put pressure on those people and from this distance they're not actually going to be able to uh, see that far and won't actually be able to shoot back as well moving on to the next area of the map then it's going to be this garage area now you can put one on this wall but what i find is if anyone does sneak up this side uh, they will be able to shoot it without actually having any problems and it all depends on how you're set up because if someone on your team is playing in the garage then you probably want to help them out by sticking one on the cars and stuff like that just so you got a little bit more intel before they get there a good spot is on the back of this ambulance so that when they do uh, push up here you know that they have already entered the garage and you can make that call out to your team so what i'm going to do is stick one on the back of the ambulance like i just said and for the final one i'm going to stick it around this area of the map you can either put it dead in the middle or stick it slightly over to the right now this makes it so if anyone comes down the stairs you got that intel ready for you and if anyone who does make it past this dread mine and makes it up into garage if they come up through here then once again they're going to get detonated if they come through this door now the only weakness here is that if they can sneak past this and get up through here you're not going to have any intel to your team but nine times out of ten you're going to have someone playing in this area of the map anyway with that being said, that is how you set up this objective and let's move on to the next one. Here we are then on the next objective. We got the uh, teller's room and archives. This is going to be quite a relatively straightforward one to uh, set up. You're going to want to put one on the doorway so that if anyone makes it to the objective, you've got that set up. Uh, but also, if you want some intel on if anyone is playing around this area, either if they're coming through this way, stick one up there. Once again, stick one here or you can put one around the stairs area of the Map. and that leaves us with two more dread mines to get this side of the map and once again there's two ways you can set this up put it on the doorways so stick one up there uh, and then stick one up there or if you want a little bit more time to react what you can do is stick one under any of the seats now it really depends on which way i don't see too many people jumping over this side it's more this side i see people jumping up on so what i like to do is just stick it in the middle uh, and that will typically cover this whole area of the map so those are the five fnat dreadmine positions that i would recommend obviously play around with it if you guys want to you know not have one on this doorway you can always have an extra one out on the roaming area uh, uh, if you want to stick one upstairs uh, i'll give you guys some good positions so sticking them uh, on this like the back of these plant pots here are always a good place to put them I'd, I'd say the furthest you can go is probably on the back of this pillar here otherwise it's just gonna be too easy to spot and shoot either way that's it for archives and tellers let's move on to the next objective here we are then, next objective, we're going to be playing staff room and open area, quite a popular uh, objective to play, uh, and if you play this objective, I recommend you reinforce this first and foremost, and that will allow you to then put one of your dread mines in this area of the map. Now what I like to do is stick it low, uh, so that when they jump through, that's going to be detonated, it's going to cover majority of that half of that room, so that when you're playing in this area, you'll be able to swing on the doorway, or if they try hide up in here, you'll be able to swing that as well. So so that is the first FNAT Dreadmine positions. Now, what I like to do is stick two on this side of the map, one on the doorway if they actually make it up into this area of the map. And what I like to do is actually stick one in the stairs area. Now, you can stick it in this little crevice. is actually quite a good spot. So if you stick it up there, uh, you can actually hide it quite close into that corner so that when they come up here, they're really not going to be expecting a Dreadmine to be there. Uh, and as soon as they peek it, then you're going to know that they are not only the top of the stairs with the intel and stuff, but they won't be able to to shoot back until they destroy it if you want to use it only for intel you can stick it at the bottom um but once again this is all depending on how you want to play fenrir so what i would do is stick one at the top up there uh, and then we're going to make our way around to the other side of the a objective where we're going to put down our final two dread mines so coming from lobby side then this is the attacker's perspective they're going to come through this way they're going to have a very long angle over here or they could potentially come up the stairs and stuff like that now what i love to do uh, is 
try and hide one just down here. Now, you can stick it here. Uh, it's a great spot because they really won't be able to see it at all unless they have uh, droned. Then they'll be able to see it. And then with our last one, I like to come up a little bit further. Uh, and I actually like to stick it on the back side of these metal detectors, I guess you could call them. So what I like to do, throw them in that corner there. You can stick it on the back side of this little pillar. So that is the best we're gonna get. And as you can see, when it is active, it does kind of poke out a little bit. But if this is a defender pushing from this side, uh, they're not actually gonna be able to destroy it because this side is a bulletproof. They're gonna have to fully come around the other side of the objective to be able to shoot it. And man, this metal detector is really pissing me off. So with that being said, that will cover this whole um, hallway for you obviously this side of the map is going to be got by those two dread mines so you have information on blue stairs you have information if they push in through kitchen and you'll have this area of the map the printer room covered as well with a dread mine down there so with that being said let's move over to the final objective for the bank map here we are then final objective of bank we're going to be in executive lounge and ceo office the one downside for playing this objective is obviously once again those windows so you're going to want to either uh use the dread mines on the windows just in case they come through what i like to do for these windows is not actually place them on the window but stick them more there so if they jump in this area they will kind of get covered by it obviously nine times out of ten rotate will be in place up here so what you're going to want to do is put one in janitor's closet you can also hide this like up here you can hide it up up high up here or you can even hide it behind that sign actually would be quite a good spot because they're really not going to see it until they get here and if you put it up there uh you can't take it back down so it's going to have to stay there now, with that being said, ideally, without this one up here, you should have two left. Now, you can put one on the doorway, but I think this area of the map should be fine. Now, what I would rather do is focus our attention, one, on the stock and trading room. Under all of these desks are great options. I would actually prefer to stick one here. And then the final one I like to put uh, is either on the back side of here, or if you come around this corner here, uh, sticking one top of stairs or in this area uh, is all, always going to be good as well. But obviously, I don't have one left anymore because I, I, I put it up there and now I can't pick it back up. With that being said, though, I think those are the five best FNAT Dreadmine positions for this final uh, objective on bank so let's move on to our next map and let's see what that map has in store for us okay so here we are on our next map it's going to be on canal and we're going to be starting here in the basement in kayaks and supply room this one is one of my favorite objectives to defend with a fen rear so the first thing you're going to do is obviously stick one on top of this doorway it's going to be a key area of the map that you're going to want to be able to hold uh, if they actually make it through that doorway sticking one in the bathroom i found always can be useful especially if you've got someone playing in this area of the map what i like to do stick one on the side of the stairs there uh, and then with our last two dread mines we're going to stick them on this side of the map so the first one actually is going to come over by this window i'm actually going to stick it on this side because if you stick it on this side you get less coverage of the room whereas if you put it on this side of the window if they jump in all this area is going to be covered now with the final one this staircase is going to be the ideal place to put it uh what i like to do is stick it as high as you possibly can without going too high obviously with the dread mine there because anyone coming down this staircase is going to be immediately focused on trying to shoot anyone down here and as soon as they get hit by that dread mine it's going to limit their vision they're going to be stopped focusing on this and focusing on trying to take it out which means they're going to have to look up here meanwhile anyone can swing this corner anyone playing in this area can shoot back and they won't even even be able to see them coming so these are the five uh, ideal placements for the fnat dread mines but obviously you can always experiment with it and see if you find any positionings that work better for you and obviously this also uh, is case sensitive depending on if anyone is playing uh, this side of the map otherwise you're probably going to want to stick one maybe up here or, or maybe on top of this doorway because this is uh, a weak point of the map when set up like this either way let's move over to the next objective for canal here we are then on the next objective it's going to be meeting room and lounge and this is going to be a kind of awkward one to uh, to defend but I do have some good tips and workarounds uh, first and foremost always open up that hatch and also try and do some footholds down on this objective because if anyone comes through that hallway you'll be able to get a great look in at their feet so with this wall set up like this what I like to do is either stick one on top of here or stick one behind the filing cabinets now the safest one is going to be put one there because someone someone does usually play 
hide behind these filing cabinets and it's a great position to try and hold off the attackers coming from at this angle you can also help this uh, or if you're the one playing here and you want a little bit more help you can always stick one like up here as well just in case they do come in and swing this uh, it's going to help put them off a little bit the next thing you're going to want to do is stick one in this corridor on top of either of these doorways are going to be great options if you want to make it a little bit more discreet uh, you can stick it on the back of this sign as well because they'll push in no dead run okay sweet and then they'll walk forward a little bit more uh, and then they'll get hit by that also i'm pretty sure that dread mine covers this doorway a little bit as well and man these these are really starting to annoy me with that being said then moving down this way we have three dread mines left to use uh, and this side of the map is going to be a key area of the position that you're going to want to lock down first and foremost stick one on the staircase because anyone uh who realizes you're playing this bomb site uh, might try and gain access through uh, underneath you so sticking one there is always helpful and what i like to do for the final two is stick one up on this bomb site because this is going to be a weak point for you uh, so stick one up behind or maybe just on the doorway but it can be shot from either of those windows for the final few dread mines then i'm going to be sticking one right here on this side of the the walkway so if anyone's playing on these stairs yes they'll be able to hold this angle but as soon as they actually try to walk up and swing uh, you're going to be able to take advantage of that and it's going to really allow you to realize where they are on the staircase so that's this objective set up let's have a look at the next one next objective then takes place on the map room and security room and the one thing i do like about canal in a in a point of view of playing fen rare is it's kind of like two mini maps connected by two key walkways so it's very easy to separate the two areas of the map now for my fnat dread mines i will be taking full advantage of this first and foremost i'm gonna be sticking one up there uh, another good spot for this side of the map's coverage back of that looks like a good spot actually i've just seen that and never knew that was there before uh, but obviously sticking one on top of this doorway is also going to cover these stairs so sticking one up there always going to be a useful position as well but for this set up i'm not going to do that instead what i'm going to do is come over to the first key area as i said this is kind of like divided by two walkways this map uh, so once again sticking one up there or sticking one up here once again uh will be your best pick if you want a little bit more reaction time stick it on that one uh if you don't really care and you're going to be playing more of an anchor role then you're going to want to be sticking one up on that doorway and that leaves us with two dread mines left to go now what i like to do stick on right in the middle here as it really does give you a lot of coverage uh, and it really does help you stop anyone pushing from this side of the map and if they make it here they'll be more focused on the dread mine for the final one then i like to come into this objective and it really depends how you set up the site once again uh, i know this wall is always open uh, either side can be opened it really depends how you like to set it up uh, so what i like to do stick one on top of that doorway just for a little bit of extra security from this side of the map either way let me know if you agree with this site setup and you know all ephemeris gadget placements for this objective let's move over to the final objective i believe for canal final objective then is going to be radar room and server room this one is going to be a quite simple one to uh, set up obviously the first place we're going to do is up on there so that if anyone makes it up to this point they're going to be blinded you can also reinforce it slightly more by sticking another one there so if they manage to get there they've got to take out another one while pushing up this side of the map which leaves us with three more to go now you can stick one up here but what i like to do is actually stick one in this room so if they manage to open up the reinforce here you you always have a little bit more protection for when they actually push in and then that leaves us with two more dread mines now uh, a, a kind of weak point is if they come through this doorway so what i like to do is try and stick one here as inconspicuously as possible when pushing up here hopefully they won't notice it up by that light so that when they get here it will get detonated you'll know they're top of the stairs and then for our final one we're just going to come here and put a very simple one at the top of that staircase that placement's quite bad you're going to want to put it as close to the middle as possible uh, but it is just the general area and once you've set up all your gadgets like this the only real weaknesses you have to watch out for are these two windows and if they do make it through those windows obviously you will have no intel of that other than the fact that you'll hear the barricades break and that's the only thing you really have to worry about either way that's my setup for the final objective on canal so let's move over to our next map 
Here we are then on our next map, and as you can see, we are on the lovely consulate map, starting off in the snowmobile and wine cellar objective. Now, first things first, if you believe that you're not going to be able to hold this wall the entire round, then chuck a Fenrir gadget right next to this double wall, protecting the garage, which, when done correctly, should be reinforced. As for our second Fenrir gadget, then we're going to want to somehow secure the stairs. Now, coming from this perspective as an attacker, I think if you hide one up here, you could definitely get some use out of it but you'd have to be playing bottom of stairs to really get full advantage of this. The more safer option is to place barbed wire on the stairs and then just to stick a Fenrir gadget on this little corner here, or you can hide it up in this little crack as well, but it will be a lot easier to shoot. So stick one there. That way, if anyone actually does try entering uh, the snowmobile garage, you will easily be able to shoot them. Three FNAT dread mines left to go then. First and foremost, we're going to stick one in the staircase. Firstly, you can chuck them up there and it is completely concealed sealed uh, even when active and it does get slightly bigger uh, the attackers will not see it uh, and nine times out of ten they won't even be looking there so they'll get to this point and then it will hit them and you'll be able to take advantage of it once again barbed wire on the stairs is always recommended on this objective which leaves us with the final two fnat dread mine now the first one i'm going to say definitely stick one on top of this door because this is a key entry point for the attackers they always want to enter through this side of the map from my experience and with the final fnat dread mine you can really experiment with this one if you want to put one in blue hallway you can always stick one on top of here in case they do get past this and push up further uh, if you want to double re uh, like secure this area you can always stick another one up above this beam as well and as you can see that one is also quite well hidden so if anyone gets past that one and gets all the way down blue hallway uh, that one is there for you as well or you can just hide it on objective you can stick one on that bomb site so once they come around the corner you can stick it there you can stick on behind here if they push down this way from this doorway with that being said though that is how i would set up the wine cellar and snowmobile objective let's move over to the next one here we are then on the next objective as you can see we are in the kitchen and dining room i actually quite like playing fenrir for this objective because there is a wide way of ways you can play him on this objective now you can hide his dread mines in these little plants here and if you activate it it actually is still pretty well hidden and not a lot of people are really going to be looking here to shoot it so anyone pushing up and you can stick this literally anywhere up here either by the way so you can experiment with your placement on that one uh, i'd say round here is probably the best spot actually because there it doesn't really give you enough time to react whereas if you hide it there uh, and not pick up and activate it there they're not going to see it and if they get to like this point then it's going to activate and then you can take full advantage another good hiding spot is once again similar to the basement you can stick it right up there i'm not going to throw it up there though because if you do throw it up there you can't pick it back up again so that's for the first area of the map the second one we're going to secure is the staircase because as we all know chucking them on the top of staircases is always going to be a great thing for you uh, and with stairs you always want to combine it with barbed wire next one i'd like to put one in this area of the map because sometimes people uh rush through upstairs like amaru sometimes people try coming through this window and a real good way of getting it is by stopping them at this doorway now if you stick them on these or these yes you can do that but what i like to do is just stick one dead in the center and i like to hit it on the floor because anyone pushing through this way is not going to be looking down there they're probably going to be watching this angle with their sights up and stuff same with this way if you come down here you're immediately focusing on this room uh, coming down here you're maybe swinging this and you're not really going to be paying attention to the floor there so even though it is quite Quite out in the open and very obvious i think you will get away with it and then for our last two you can actually play these on the objectives pretty well you can hide them behind this banister or whatever you can maybe try to hide them under the the staircases there but what i like to do is stick on behind this bomb area stick on right there because anyone who actually makes it onto objective will then be kind of forced to play in this fnat dread mine it will distract them a little bit uh, and then for our final one as per usual on the top of the door is always a good spot as well with that being said then that's how i would set up this objective let's move over to the next one next objective we're focusing on then is the bar and gaming room and i'm going to keep this one quite short i like sticking them straight on the doorways because they are key areas that everyone's going to be focusing through i also like to come onto the a objective and get one on top of this window as well you can also kind of conceal it around these areas or just under the window as well as a nice spot to put it and then what i like to do with the final two uh, stick one up on this doorway or once again optional you can stick one behind 
find any of these banisters it basically cover more of the actual objective rather than the entry point and then what i like to do for the final one here is stick one behind the bar or coming around this way uh, i like to stick one behind this little pool table as well and as you can see with head holes here you will basically be able to hold this whole objective if anyone jumps in through that window you'll know about it and you'll be able to peek and shoot so you manage to somehow get in or they come through this doorway you will know about it and you'll be able to shoot back same over here uh, obviously this wall is going to be reinforced for you if you're playing this area of the map and this one goes off you know to swing and shoot over here if that one goes off you know to swing and shoot over there it's just a very safe way to play uh, and it really does give you a lot of versatility when playing from this objective the only real places you have to worry about is this drop down uh, and then potentially getting like naded or something or maybe a Havana opening up your reinforcement here but with a bandit or a Kaid uh, that should not be a problem with that being said then let's move over to our next objective for Chalet final bomb site then will be on office and master bedroom and I love playing on this objective with a Fenrir first thing you're going to want to do is stick on there you can also stick them outside so if you want to you can stick on there tracking one out there is a great way of like trying to stop people pushing up here and it's a great use of uh, wasting their time next up then we're going to be coming over to the staircase and as you guys know barbed wire will be placed all along these stairs up here and you can chuck them up here you can chuck them on this corner but overall this is quite a hard area to place them so what i like to do is just stick on on the back of here so they will be able to destroy your barbed wire and stuff which will make sound giving you uh, an advantage and then as soon as they come up here peaking uh, as soon as they swing up you can play in this area of the map uh, and then take full advantage by swinging that also i guess if an amaru comes up through this window they'll get hit by that as well and then for our final three dread mines i'm not going to put any in this room you can optionally uh, put one up here uh, as an example and instead of that one you can chuck one here but i'm not going to do that i'm going to leave this area of the map uh, down to your teammates what i'm going to do instead chuck one on this doorway because obviously anyone pushing up through here usually like to try sneak behind the piano and use it as cover so this one's going to be a great way for holding a piano which leads us with two dread mines now i'm going to stick one up here as a little sneaky one so anyone coming through this area of the map uh, will get hit which will then give anyone playing in piano or maybe even if you have uh, an opening in this wall or whatever it'll give you a great opportunity to then peek and capitalize off that dread mine which leaves us with our final dread mine then and i actually like to either place it behind the piano underneath here because no one's really going to be looking down there uh, and you can lay down and get a much better positioning on that like you can literally chuck it on the back of the piano there and as you can see that's going to get this whole area behind the back of the piano uh, and it's going to be a very difficult one to get in and shoot shoot once again though you can always come around this way and chuck one on the back of there as i said that will work great as well with that being said that is how i would set up on all the bomb sites on chalet let's move over to our next ranked map here we are then on our next ranked map as you can see we are going to be doing cafe dostoevsky next on the kitchen bomb site starting off uh, you can always stick one here you can always stick one uh, any on the back of the vents and on the back of this cooker or whatever this thing is uh, which is what i'm going to do for my first one if you have anyone playing um behind this bakery side here all you're going to want to do is chuck one on the top of that window and that will allow them and help them to hold that angle moving on then to this area of the map and obviously we're going to stick one straight on the doorway here this is going to be a key entry point barbed wire in this doorway is always uh welcome as well now with this one in place it's actually going to leave us with two final dread mines and what i like to do is actually put both of these on objectives so what i'm going to do is stick one here so if they do manage to push up through uh into the bomb site that one will alert you to when they are pushing in uh, and as for the second one uh, sticking them anywhere around this bomb area here or on the back of here is always a good spot actually as well it will really be quite concealed uh, even when active quite concealed as well and it will give you coverage of this area of the map so if they try run behind this little counter here to plant uh, that will go off anyone playing behind this little service bit here will be able to shoot them anyone playing in the freezer will be able to do that as well the only weaknesses from this point of view is obviously if they do open up this freezer wall or come through the freezer hatch as well so 
that is the only thing you have to be careful for with this setup. Moving on then to our next objective, let's see what it's got in store for us. Here we are then on the next objective, we're going to be doing fireplace uh, and reading room. The first place we are going to put our dread mines is one on the top of this doorway. Trying to keep the attackers out of this room, it's going to be a key part. Everyone's going to want to reinforce this hatch as well. You don't want the attackers coming in through that side of the map. And then moving on down to the hallway, what we're going to do now is cover up the stairs area. Now what I'm going to do is immediately stick one on the back of this staircase. That is not a good placement. Just stick one uh, on the side of this like this. That'll be a good spot for you. And you can actually take it one step further by sneaking one up on here as well. So if you get a good placement just like that, uh, it is going to be quite hard to spot for the attackers. From an attacking point of view, the only real angle you can get on it is from this side over here. But nine times out of ten, they probably won't spot it and will just rush straight up here. And with our final two FNAT dread mines, then we are coming back up to this side of the map. You can stick one on this doorway if you're confident that they'll push through there. Maybe if you're playing your second defensive round, they all push through here last round. You'll know that they're coming that way. But sticking one on this doorway should be enough of a deterrent. If you want to reinforce this area, you can always stick one uh, in either of those two spots. There will do a great job. And then overall, you are really left with one dread mine to really play around with. A key area that they could get through is this area of the map. So you can stick one, you know, around here, around this banister. But what I like to do is actually stick one on the back of this bookcase here. And when it's active, uh, it's not going to be as easy to spot as you might think. Uh, attackers will probably be pushing around here, you know, watching this area, going through here. Uh, and then obviously they'll get hit by it and you'll be able to know. Either way, that's how I would set up on this objective. Let's move over to the final objective. My bad, this is not the final objective. The next one is going to be uh, a similar objective, but not quite the same. And you're really going to want to attack this one a lot differently because you don't want to reinforce that side of the map as much. The first place we're going to stick one uh, is the top of the staircase here. We're going to stick it on that side uh, because on the back of this, uh, attackers will be able to get a chance to see it when coming up the stairs. Or if it's on this side, they won't be able to see it. Uh, the only downside is people from this doorway will be able to just see it and shoot it straight away. The next place we're going to put it then is going to be in this doorway. Uh, the way we're going to cover it up without being too exposed to that is by coming inside here uh, and trying to hide one up on the chandelier. Now from this side you actually can't see it. Even when active uh, you can see it from certain angles but it's actually quite a decently hidden dread mine. So it will catch a lot of people off guard as they're about to swing the B objective uh, and it really does help reinforce that staircase area of the map. Now with that then set up we now have three dread Red mines left to place and uh, this window is going to be a key reason why you can't put one on the top of that because they will just end up shooting it so what you're going to want to do is once again come over here uh, and stick one on the back of this bookcase I found this one is a very strong when placing higher like I did last time it can be seen by that window so you might actually want to put it lower so stick it there and you should be fine and then with our final two then we're going to reinforce this side of the map we're actually going to stick one in the objective room uh, either in this corner for the window or you can just stick it straight underneath there uh, and that's really going to cover anyone who's in this area of the map and then for our final fnat dread mine we're once again going to come down here uh, and we're going to do a similar thing we're just going to chuck one on the top of the staircase there so as an attacking point of view you'll come up here you won't be able to see it until you get to here and you're not really going to be looking directly above your head you're probably going to be more worried about what is in front of you that's how i'd set up this alternative to the fireplace objective now let's move it to the final objective here we are then on that final objective and this one's going to be quite a hard one to secure with only five dread mines so if you can't cover all the entry points don't be too worried first thing we're going to do is worry about this area of the map we're literally going to chuck one directly on the bomb and that makes so anyone who jumps through the skylight will get affected and even when crouched behind here uh, will be limited with their vision and won't be able to shoot back really until they destroy it moving around to the a objective then the way we're going to secure this is not by sticking one on top of the doorway because they will be able to shoot it from this window instead what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the back of this drywall and chuck one on the back of the drywall there if you want to reinforce the stairs a little bit more 
more you can always do the trick where we just stick it there moving on then round to this side of the objective this is going to be a key area of the map you're really going to want to deter people from this area so what i'm going to do is stick on above this doorway and then obviously you're going to want to secure this part of the map because anyone who drops down this hatch uh, you really want to somehow hit them and you got to be quite sneaky with it because you don't want it to get destroyed from anyone playing upstairs so what i like to do is stick it on that side of the hatch it's going to be very obvious as to where it is uh, but if they drop down and anyone's playing with an immediate sight line on them they should be able to shoot them in time with that being said then that's it for cafe dostoyevsky let's move on to our next map the next objective then that we're going to be having a look at is border starting off with customs inspection and the supply room first thing you're going to want to do is obviously stick one either above the window or a good spot is actually uh, around here or around here this makes it so anyone who jumps through the window uh, is probably going to come around here or try planting behind this box is usually the most common planting point moving on to the second point i actually like to put one on this doorway i think it's a key area of the map to put one barbed wire is also great for slowing down the attack in this area on top of this doorway is also going to be great uh, you're going to want to reinforce both of these doorways reinforce the hatch if you have time and that really gives you the last two ones to experiment with now they are always going to try and open up this uh, and what i like to do for this objective is either put one straight up there or try and keep one on you uh, and then if you see that they are opening it then chuck one up there and with the final one you can really put it anywhere in the objective you can chuck it you know on the actual objective room so if they come in they, they get hit by a dread mine or you can stick it in on this side maybe you want to put it down there or just on this corner here is a great spot as well so if they make it onto the objective and come in they're here or another good spot actually is in this little desk room here and just chucking one up on there will kind of cover this hatch as well if they manage to open up the hatch but there's a lot of versatility with this objective as soon as you set up the key ones like this one that one uh, and this one here it really gives you three dread mines to play around with so experiment with it see what works best for you uh, and hopefully it works out well moving on then let's go have a look at the next objective here we are then on the next objective is going to be tellers and bathroom the first thing we're going to do is stick one you know anywhere around here will do just cover up this uh, window because you don't really want anyone jumping straight into the bomb site next thing you're going to want to do is protect these two windows you can chuck one in the middle and it will actually get both so you can do that you can also chuck one on top of here but it can be shot from that doorway so what i like to do is actually try hide it in that bottom corner that way anyone from the window won't be able to get a sight line on it and it will still cover up that doorway uh, once again you're going to want to cover up this doorway as well uh, and that will cover up this objective and then what you're going to want to do with your final one is play around with it you can just sneak it around anywhere play around with this area the map is always going to be key maybe if you want one here in the passport checking area on the doorway or you know behind this uh desk or anything like that will be a great spot what i like to do is stick it up on the back of this now if you chuck one up there this is actually going to cover this whole area and this is going to be a key area that the attackers will eventually push through uh barbed wire all up here will really allow you to um take full advantage of that as well so if you're playing in this area of the map and this one gets detonated you will know that there'll be anyone uh, in this immediate area here or they'll be just around this corner so you'd be able to see it go off uh, and immediately uh, pre-fire and stuff like that with that being said i think that's the best setup i don't think there's any real other places to put them unless you're playing as more of a roma as fenrir on this objective with that being said let's go take a look at the next objective next objective then is going to be the server room and ventilation room this is going to be quite an interesting one to hold because this area of the map can be a bit of a of a hard place to set up your uh, dread mines first thing i'm going to do is stick one straight on this window here sticking it on the bottom left will make it uh, basically unshootable from here unless they throw in a grenade or something like that you can also optionally put one on top of here i do recommend it because obviously they will like to push in through this area and a lot of attackers like to try and sprint in straight through here uh, and try not to get shot from here but if it gets detonated you will know that there's either someone there or that there's going to be someone in this area of the map for you to try and shoot this then leaves us with three dread mines to get the rest of the map we're going to straight away just stick one straight on top of that once again we're going to stick one on top of this this is once again a key area of the map no matter what objective you're playing uh, and they're actually probably more likely to come from this way and through this doorway up to here they can still come from this way in which case they will be able to see it 
but when they're focusing on pushing this point they might not even look up there you know what i mean they might just come swinging around here and not even see it and then for our last one you can put one up here or you know just before this doorway but i really don't like doing that what i would opt to do instead is stick one on this doorway if you enter through either this or through the window in here you'll have to push in through here which will then give you the option of going through there getting hit by that dread mine or coming through this way and if you go through this way enough you obviously get hit by that dread mine as well or if you then manage to push up without getting detected as soon as you enter objective you'll get pinged uh, and overall it's just the best setup in my opinion either way let's look at the final objective of border here we are then final objective on border it's going to be armory and archives and obviously the key focus point on this objective is going to be this wall this is going to be reinforced and they're going to try and push up through this way uh, now what you can do is chuck one on this doorway and you can actually run outside and place them outside and it can actually be very strong a good spot actually is chucking one here i saw this on tiktok a lot of attackers aren't actually going to see this and when they push up to about here it's going to trigger them and anyone playing in the cc tv uh, or security room you'll be able to play on this window jump out and swing them or if you're playing on this doorway what you can do is sit here and wait uh, and as soon as that dread mine goes off you can actually swing uh, and get a lot of free kills this is going to be a very strong dread mine and obviously this one's going to be more used for fragging rather than holding down the map but it is a great spot and i saw this on tiktok as i said uh, and the person on tiktok used it to get about three kills in a round so it does actually work a lot better than you may expect Moving towards the A-bomb side then, we're going to set up this side of the map. The first one is going to be on top of this doorway. Uh, and with our final two dread mines, by the way, what we're going to do is stick one on this little uh, bit here. You can stick it down below or up above. It doesn't really matter. It's really just going to give you intel on when someone enters this fountain room. And with our final one, we can just stick it above here, just before um, the metal detector here. Or you can actually sneak it in this area. You can sneak it up there. Uh, and that will actually cover the stairs as well, actually. Uh, so if you chuck one up here, as you can see this whole area will be covered uh, you'll be able to know if anyone comes up these stairs it's unseeable from there if they're pushing from down the hallway once again unseeable uh, you can also hide it on the back of that but i feel like that one's a little bit more obvious with that being said i think that is where i put my five fnat dread mines and as i said if you are playing this one here play in this security area so play in the security room play this doorway uh if they enter through this way uh then you can just run straight back through and run back to objective but with that being said that is the final objective for the border map so let's go have a look at our next objective here we are then on the first objective of our next map skyscraper the first place we're going to be putting our dread mine is either on this doorway or a little bit further down on top of that doorway now what i'm going to do is stick one on this doorway it's going to be a little bit more versatile give us a little bit more protection just outside of the objective next one is going to be on this doorway because uh, a lot of the attackers are going to be coming through this way and playing this area of the map and sticking one there is going to help you with these longer range gunfights moving on to the actual objectives then we're going to be sticking one on the bottom side of this window so if anyone jumps in they're going to be getting hit by that dread mine the only downside to having one there is it can be grenaded or anything like that but more likely you will be fine the next one is going to go on the bottom of this window anyone who jumps through here is going to immediately get hit by that and you'll be able to swing them immediately and get them with this last one it's kind of down to you once again uh, with any spare fnat dread mines you can always set them up in and around the objective a good spot would obviously be up here but we got that kind of covered by that one so what i'm going to do instead is stick one on top of the doorway of a so if they manage to push past both of these dread mines and actually make it onto the objective uh, you will be able to do it i'd suggest playing around this bomb site here uh, you really get a clear objective on if anyone actually drops this hatch if they come through here you'll be able to sprint straight up uh, and challenge them uh, if they come through that way obviously you'll have your rotate here so you'll be able to swing and peek uh, and then obviously if any of those go off you'll be able to challenge anyone by that one right here or if they jump in and activate that one you'll be able to push up and take full advantage therefore you'll be able to utilize all five dread mines with that being said let's move over to the next objective here we are then on the next objective of skyscraper we are on barbecue and kitchen uh, now the first area of the map you're going to want to secure is actually this whole room now the way you can do this is by sticking one in this room on this window but it is going to be a little bit risky uh, and then you're also going to want to put one around on this window 
Yep. Coming through down over to the B bomb then, what we're going to want to do is secure this area of the map. We're going to start stick one straight on top of this doorway. And then what we're going to do is either hide one down here. Now what this one would be able to do is cover this whole area of the map. So as soon as you get to here, it will hit them to come through this doorway. Uh, it will be able to hit them and stuff like that. And then with our last one, once again, we can really put it down anywhere. What I like to do though is either put it in this area of the map. You can stick it anywhere up on this beam. But what I'm going to do is actually somewhat secure the stairs area. Now the stairs area is going to be a key area of the map that you're going to want to kind of protect. Uh, and you can actually hide these pretty well on this bottom step. Now as you guys know, uh, if they are going to be pushing from the upstairs, they're not really going to be paying attention to the bottom steps. Uh, as you can see, uh, from the top of the stairs, you actually can't even see it. Uh, until you actually get on the stairs in which case uh, they're probably going to be ready to swing around but i'm pretty sure this dread mine would actually hit them even from the top of the staircase but once again with this final dread mine you can play around with it put it anywhere you want to uh, even on this doorway is just a decent spot as well with that being said let's take a look at the next objective on skyscraper the next objective we're going to be looking at then is exhibition room and office now this is going to be another interesting one to hold the first thing you're going to want to do is immediately chuck one on on this window you don't want anyone jumping in through this window it's going to be a key area of the map to hold next one we're going to do is stick one on top of this uh little staircase here uh sticking it on the back in that corner makes it so uh you're not really going to be able to see it unless you're like really tight on this angle then you can shoot it but from this point of view going up these stairs uh you will not really be able to see it coming up the staircase then we're then going to head over to this area of the map now you can stick one anywhere up here but what i like to do is stick one on the back side over here because anyone who's all the way over here won't even be able to see it uh, and nine times out of ten they'll come down focusing on this area of the map and it will give you a good idea of where they're attacking from and with our final two fnat dread mines we're going to stick one on the top of this doorway uh, and then you can really experiment with this last one you can either chuck it here you can actually run outside and stick one on this corner so you know if anyone's swinging here overall you can really experiment with it behind the bar is also quite a decent spot to put it because as you guys know a lot of the attackers are going to try push in here uh, and immediately hide behind this bulletproof bar uh, and get a long sight line down there so if you can manage to pull that off uh, that'll be a good one as well either way i think that's the best setup for this objective a nice quick and simple one let's take a look at the final objective for skyscraper here we are then on the final objective it's going to be karaoke and tea room the first one we are going to place is actually going to be covering the back stairs over here there's actually a very neat position you can stick one on the back of this alternatively you can stick one on the top of here as well and that'll give you more of an idea of when they are actually in a position that you can take advantage of but i like to stick it there the next one we're going to do is going to be on this doorway uh, and then coming down through here normally you're going to have a rotate out of this room and what i like to do is stick one on top of this window for someone who's playing here obviously you can always open up that hatch i'd recommend you reinforce this wall uh, and if you aren't reinforcing this wall i'd recommend you put little feet holes and then coming round to the a bomb uh, is where we're going to be putting our final two dread mines now the first one you can put is up here or you can take it a little bit further give yourself a little bit more reaction time by sticking it there you can also stick it on top of there but overall i think here is going to be the best place to put it because if it gets detonated you're actually going to be able to swing and take advantage uh, before they reach the objective whereas if you have one here they're already in objective room and if you do lose that gunfight you're not even going to be able to get much use out of that dread mine. And the last one that I like to place is right here. Now, you can also alternatively put one on this staircase like we uh, discussed before. You can always stick one on the top of the staircase. And it's going to be very hard to see unless they come all the way around and then shoot it. It all depends on how... Um, your teammates are set up and where they're going to be playing for example you might not need one on this doorway or you might not need one on them stairs if you're going to have someone covering that area in which case you can stick one on these stairs instead with that being said then let's move over to our next map next map we're going to be focused on then is coastline starting off with sunrise and blue the first place we're going to try and secure is this area of the map and obviously you can't really put any on these windows so what we're going to do uh, is just stick one on that doorway it'll be a very helpful dread mine for anyone playing behind the bar uh, and then the only real weakness in this room now is going to be this doorway so what i like to do is chuck one down on the sides here that'll make it so if anyone jumps in they'll be uh you know limited with their vision they won't be able to shoot 
uh, anyone playing along the line of sight or anyone behind the bar. Now, what we're going to do with our next one, chuck one up here for the stairs. Uh, obviously, you're going to probably want to hide that one a little bit better, but coming down from the stairs, they won't really be expecting one to be up on that corner, and it will make it so anyone who's come down the staircase will be immediately alerted by your team. And what you can do is also put one on the backside of this little uh, outlook here. And as you can see, from an attacking point of view, you can't see through these little slats. So as soon as they walk up here, they're going to get hit. You can like hide it behind here or whatever, or push it slowly further and further down the hallway to give yourself a little bit more time to react. But I think that that will be the best positioning for you. And then for this last one, you can just stick one on top of the doorway. Uh, I wouldn't put one on this window because I don't see too many people successfully jumping through this. And obviously, you're probably going to have a rotate here anyway, which means anyone playing in the uh, the bar will be able to deal with those people. So what I like to do is just stick one either on top of this doorway here or if you're going to have someone playing in office or if you're the one playing in office i like to stick on the top of this doorway uh, so it gives anyone playing in this area of the map a little bit more protection uh, and kind of help them hold down this area of the map for a longer period of time with that being said that is how i would set up this objective let me know what you would do for this objective down in the comments and without further ado let's move over to the next objective here we are then on the next objective we're going to be in service entrance and kitchen and the first thing we're going to secure is this area of the map now it depends how secure you want it i'd always recommend putting one on that doorway uh, if you want to secure it even further you can stick one either up here or or down below in this corner it really is up to you but what i would also recommend is sticking one in the toilets to give yourself a little bit more time to be alerted from that direction uh, and then obviously you're going to want to put one on the key doorway uh, and the key uh, window on the objective as well and with this setup it usually gives you one to play around with as i said you can stick one on top of this door to make that way a little bit more secure or what you can do is give yourself a little bit more intel you can stick one on the top of the staircase or if you want to be alerted sooner you can stick one on this little banister here you can come down towards blue stick one on this doorway it really depends on where you want intel coming from you know you can stick one in that doorway so you can give a call out that they have entered the bar area with that being said let's take a look at the next objective for coastline next objective is going to penthouse and theater this is going to be another one of the more popular bomb sites to defend now what i recommend is sticking one in this corner it's going to cover this doorway and the window so anyone who repels in or anyone who drops uh, down this hatch and comes through this doorway is going to be alerted as soon as they come in through the objective uh, you can also optionally stick one up here for anyone who drops into hatch uh, to give yourself a little bit more uh, of a reaction time but what i'm going to do is then stick one on top of this doorway this in combination with some barbed wire in this room is probably what's best for you guys next i'm going to stick one on this doorway as it is quite key uh, and this really covers the majority of the entry points on this objective and it still leaves you with two to play around with what i would do for this one is secure down the objective a lot more now a good sneaky one uh, is actually to play one on the top of this banister as you can see you can stick it on the back of that no one's really going to see it uh, I did place that one quite low. What I'd recommend is put it as high as possible. That way, when you activate it, uh, the spikes don't poke out at the bottom or anything. And as you can see, that's just going to make it so if anyone comes behind the bed to either play, uh, try kill anyone playing in this area, or if they try come back here to plant, uh, you'll be able to try and take full advantage of it and then with the final one what i like to do is actually come around here and as you can see there's these little gaps in this filing cabinet and if you uh, lay down you can actually get quite a decent placement of a dread mine uh, quite far in there and it makes it quite hard to spot and take out so if you stick it on the top of that as you can see from a standing position you can't even see it and it will cover like this whole area so even when you're standing back here uh, or not here but around here it will still hit them so as soon as they try playing in this area and getting a long line of sight they'll be very confused as to where it is coming from with that being said then that's how i'd set up this objective let's move over to what i believe is the final one here we are then in hookah and billboards room the first key one we're going to do is on the staircase you can either stick one on the back side of that pillar or as we know my favorite positioning is on the back side of the little staircases here and as you can see that is a very good one to hold if you want extra reinforcement you can always still put one here uh, the next key one we're going to do is on the back side of that you can also stick one in this area 
area as well as you guys know a lot of people try repelling through this window or playing on this window so what you can do is stick one down there or whatever uh, and anyone who's playing in this area who isn't keeping an eye out for the dread mine will get hit by that sometimes there is a rotate in here uh, in which case you might want to move it a little bit further up so that it can cover this objective but with that being said we now have two dread mines left to go you can stick one over here uh, that would actually be quite a, a solid spot not right there because that is quite a bad positioning but if you stick on on the back of that anyone coming down this hallway will probably get hit by that and then we're going to rely on only one singular fnat dread mine on this doorway here to hold down this area of the map and it can be shot from the window but i feel like nine times out of ten no one's really gonna be playing on this window and as you can see from the perspective of this dread mine no one can get an angle on it from uh, the little balcony out there so you should be fine now with this setup i would recommend someone playing in aquarium or luggage area with that being said that is probably the best setup for this objective in my opinion you can also stick your uh, your bulletproof cam on this back wall as you can see it gives you a great sight line down into that room so you don't really need a dread mine on the top up there to be honest with that being said though that is how i would set up on this objective let's go over to our next map okay so the next map is going to be theme park starting off with the lab and storage room and this is going to be quite a straightforward one to defend once again obviously we're going to have one on the window it's a key point of trying to hold this objective i'd also recommend opening up this wall so anyone playing this side of the lab will be able to take advantage of that fnat dread mine you can also stick one on the top of this double door this is always going to help when attackers actually push into objective and try challenging anyone in this room which leaves us with three more dread mines we're obviously going to come and stick one on either the top of this doorway or in the bottom corner of this doorway either way it really does work the same and then what we can do is with this room we can either stick one on the top or sides of this doorway or the top and side of this doorway uh, both of them are quite good spots and it'll really lock down this part of the map i feel like when you have a really good setup on this objective no one can really enter through the storage room uh, so what they end up resorting to is pushing through this area of the map and i feel like the the arcade toilet uh, is, a, is an area of the map that is a weakness for this uh, bomb site. So setting up three dread mines is going to really lock down that side of the objective and it will allow more people to play in the lab area of the map which will be able to obviously hold off attackers from that way. They'll be able to hold this angle a lot more, stop people from coming into this objective. And overall, I think this is just a best setup for this bomb site. Moving on to our next objective then, let's see what it has for us. The next objective we're going to be looking at is Armory and Throne Room, another very straightforward one. Majority of the bomb sites on this map, you can't really get too creative with. You just have to lock down all of the key entry points to the objective. Uh, and what we're going to do is set up a lot of them around this area of the map. And as you can see with those set up we only have one left but this is definitely going to lock down this blue room as you can see with one there anyone playing behind this little fireplace uh, will be able to try and take advantage of that if they actually take this room and end up pushing through into this objective onto the a side this dread mine will help any uh, players in armory take that gunfight uh, this one on the b side will help anyone in throne room take that gunfight obviously these walls should be reinforced and these ones should also be reinforced if they get opened by hard breaches, that is going to be your main concern. Now, you can also uh, take it one step further when uh, defending this side. What you can do is you can stick a dread mine on the top here, and that will make it so anyone around this area of the map won't, won't really be looking up there. Uh, and as soon as they start trying to take peaks and peek this angle, peek throne room, this will basically allow you to kind of stop them, or not really stop them, but distract them. So as soon as they enter that key area of the map, if it goes off uh you know they're there which means they'll then be trying to take it out before peeking again uh, and you'll be able to take full advantage with that being said that's how i would set up with that last one you can really experiment with it you can chuck it anywhere uh maybe behind throne room so if they try pushing up behind here to plant or take you out uh you have a little bit more protection or if you want to stick it on uh, the a side objective in armory what you can do is maybe stick on behind there or you can stick on behind here so if they actually push in then you're gonna have more protection on the actual bomb site if they make it here. 
Either way, let's move over to the third objective. Here we are then on bunk and daycare. This is going to be the hardest objective on this uh, on this map to really play Fenrir quite well. The first thing we're going to do is try and secure this stairs area. And as you can see, we don't really have a lot of room to work with here. You can hide them on the back of these uh, arcade machines, but that will literally allow anyone to push all the way up the staircase uh, and literally even hold this angle here without even being spotted by uh, a dread mine. So what I'm going to do is actually come further down and i'm going to place one on this little corner now it doesn't really matter uh, if it's on this edge as long as it doesn't poke out over on that side you should be fine so what i like to do is literally throw it on that corner and as you can see even when active when pushing up from this way you can't really see it even from this angle you can barely see it it's not really until you get on this side that you can see it a lot but obviously the attackers aren't really going to be worried about seeing it from this angle because uh, they're probably going to be pushing from down there and that will cover the stairs and what we're going to do is then enter the cafe area we're going to stick one straight on the doorway anyone playing in cafe will then be able to hold this doorway a lot more effectively we're then going to spread over to this staircase it's going to be another quite hard one to hold what we're going to do uh, is actually fully allow them to take the stairs this time around because we can stick them on the back here but where you can get completely underneath here a lot of people like to like come under here and check they'll come up this staircase and hold this angle straight away and they will see it immediately so i find that giving them this uh, and giving them this angle is still okay and it's as long as they don't push up uh, that you should be fine and then coming over to this side of the map we're then going to put one on this doorway but we don't want to put it too high just in case those people on the staircase uh, can see it so uh, in this corner is fine, but I opt to put it uh, along this side because that way this vending machine then blocks it off As you can see from this perspective uh, They will be able to get an angle on the top of that So sticking it down in that corner is probably your best bet and then leaving the final fnat dread mine You probably want to set one up on one of the objective rooms on this doorway is always going to be useful uh, Sticking one up here can be useful as well really any of these doorways that one's also can be a key one Literally any in this room. It's really difficult dependent on how you want to set up and which doorway you feel is most likely that you're going to get attacked through so if you're not really watching the stairs area stick one on one of those two doorways over there uh, or if you think they're going to come through this way stick one up here with that being said then let's go and have a look at the final objective for theme park Final objective for theme park then is going to be office and initiation room starting in initiation room We're going to stick one straight on the top of this doorway and then on the back of this little desk And I like to stick one here because a lot of people like playing this hatch uh, and trying to come through either this window or this doorway And overall it just gives you a little bit more stability on this side of the map Coming over to this area, I like sticking one on the double door. Uh, obviously, barbed wire is usually placed around here. Sometimes you can have a rotate here, uh, and that will allow anyone to play uh, in office. It will allow them to like take advantage of this dread mine, if you know what I mean. And then for our last two, uh, I wouldn't recommend opening that because it creates like a whole new entry point for that objective. But I like sticking one on the top left of that doorway, giving you a little bit more intel from that side of the map. And then with the final one, I like sticking it on the top of that doorway because then that will really lock down this area of the map. And if you want to, what you can do is actually come down to the hallway area uh, and you can just stick one on the top of this hallway and it will give you more of an idea uh, of when they're coming down the hallway. But that's about it for theme park. Let's move over to our next map. Next map we're going to be looking at then is going to be Villa, starting off with dining room and kitchen. The first area of the map we're going to be locking down is going to be in this room. I never see anyone playing this window, so if you want to stick one here, you can. But a more safer option is just to stick one on the top of that doorway. Obviously, coming over to this area of the map, we're going to put one on this doorway because it's a key point of the map. If you want to kind of slow their progress through this area of the map, what you can do is stick a dread mine on that doorway as well. Uh, and then opening up some footholds, that will make it so... Uh, you'll know when they enter this objective and you can kind of sit here and wait for them to come around that corner. With our final two Fnet Dread Mines, I like sticking one on top of that doorway in Memorial Room. And then with the final one, you can usually play around with it. You can put it either in that doorway or the more respectable and obvious po position would be in the China Room doorway as well. So that covers all the entry points to the objective. It helps you lock down the objective quite well. And overall, it's going to be a great distribution of your Dread Mines, allowing anyone playing 
on objective to know where to focus their attention on. With that being said, let's move over to the next objective for Villa. Next objective we're going to be looking at then is living room and library. This is going to be a very straightforward one once again. You're basically going to want to cover all the entry points to the objective. A key one though is to put one on this window because you want to have some kind of like protection from this room. What I would do is reinforce this side of the wall uh, and open up that. That will make it so anyone playing on window won't have any sight lines straight into objective but from a defensive point of view when this wall is reinforced you can hide behind it but you can also peek and hold anyone in that room and obviously if that dreadmine goes off you'll be able to literally take full advantage of it and basically get a free kill with the final three dreadmines then you want to lock down the a objective it's going to be the bigger and harder objective to defend you can stick one either on the top of that or you can hide one a little bit further down uh, in that little archway bit and that will cover uh, more of the mud room and then with the final two i like sticking one on top of that doorway and then what i actually love to do is stick one on or around the a bomb site so if you think they're going to come through this doorway stick one here if you think they're going to come through that way stick one there uh, and what that does is it makes it so if they manage to enter the objective when they push up here to for them to get hit once again by that dread mine and anyone playing uh, in this little room here should be able to take advantage of this because obviously in gallery uh, you're gonna have this reinforced when that one goes off peek there swing that get the free kill if that one goes off or that one goes off uh, you'll know that they're either all the way back on that doorway or they've pushed in from this direction uh, and to expect them quite near to your rotate overall that's what i would do for this objective let's move it to the next one here we are then on that next objective for villa what we're going to do is immediately open up the rotate what we're going to do is first and foremost stick one on the top of the stairs this is going to make it so that anyone pushing up the stairs you'll get some free intel on them if you want a little bit intel a little bit sooner you can also stick it there from an attacking point of view uh, you won't be seeing it and as soon as you swing here uh, is when you're going to get hit one of those two is always going to be a great one to to play uh, the next one we're going to do is on the top of that doorway which leads us to three more dread mines for the remaining of this area now what we're going to do stick one on that doorway because i see a lot of people pushing up through there we're going to stick one on this archway because it will stop anyone uh, who's planning on coming through this objective into the a bomb site so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick one on this doorway do you remember if you are sticking one on this doorway tuck it in a little bit because obviously you don't want it to get shot from this window and then with this setup you have all the main points locked down with that being said let's move it to the final objective now on the final objective of games room and aviator room what we're going to do is be a little bit more versatile you have a lot more different ways to play this objective you're not really forced into playing a specific way for example you can lock down this room by chucking some on top of the doorways and uh, do what you want in that sense what i'm going to do though is stick one just on top of this doorway instead and i'm going to let them have this study room instead what i'm going to do is stick another one on top of that doorway so i'm alerted if they've come through that way uh, and then with the stairs uh, i'm not going to do what i typically do uh, and stick one on the top because and when coming up this staircase a lot of people are always paranoid that they're going to get shot so they're always looking back straight away and kind of walking up the staircase backwards so they will see it more likely instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up into the classical hall now there's a multiple ways you can set this up uh, these archways are great on this map which is why i love using them you can stick one on this corner to be alerted when they're on that corner and then coming down here you can stick one either right on the back of this pillar kind of covered up by this plant so anyone running from this side probably won't even get a look in over there and obviously if they come around this side they're not going to see anything until they get to about here in which case they've already passed it and they're not even going to be looking that direction and then for the final dread mine uh, if you aren't playing that one you can stick one there but what i like to do is for the final one coming all the way back over here and sticking one either on this doorway or this archway because both of these uh uh, doorways and archway is going to be a key entry point for the attackers what i like to do is stick it on that little archway because it gives you a little bit more time to react that is all of the objectives set up then for this map let's move over to our next one here we are then on outback arguably my least favorite ranked map in the entire pool i hate playing on outback i think it's just too big of a map and it's going to be a very hard one to defend with the fenrir because of all the different entry points around the map starting off then on the b objective 
what we're going to do is put one immediately on the top of this doorway. I see a lot of attackers coming through this way because I don't really want to be vaulting through the window, but they do still like vaulting through that window. So what I'm going to do is stick on there. And this is going to double down as a protection from that window, but also if any attackers make it on the objective uh, and they come through this way, which by the way is normally opened up with a rotate of some kind, this will then give you a little bit more coverage from anyone trying to uh, come around here and peek. With that being said though, there is one more we are going to do for the B objective and that is chucking one on the top of this doorway. You can also put it on the little window in that room, but I like putting it on that doorway instead. And then with the final two Fnet Dread Mines, we're just going to go straight on the top of both of the doors. And for this one, you're going to want to tuck it in a little bit closer to the cabinet so that no one from this doorway can see it and shoot it. I think this is the best setup for this objective. Let's move on to the next one for Outback. Here we are then on the next objective for Outback. This is going to be probably the best one to defend from a Fenrir point of view. First one we're going to do is obviously lock up the, the doorway. You can actually push this out as well to either up here or around here so you know when they're coming through this back entrance. But I'm not going to do that for this objective. What we're then going to do is come around to the bathroom window. I'm going to stick that straight on top up there. Uh, obviously, this is going to be reinforced 9 times out of 10. Uh, if you can, try and get that hatch reinforced as well. Otherwise, this is going to be a liability for your team. But then what we're going to do, stick a Fenrir gadget here. Now, with the final two FNAT dread mines, what I like to do is actually secure the area a little bit more. I like sticking one behind this little bed. And what this will do uh, is make it so if anyone actually runs straight into objective, they then get hit by another. A fnet dread mine here uh, and then what i like to do for the last one is try and lock down the a objective a little bit more by once again kind of coming over here uh, you can stick one around this area of the map just on the floor or even on the back of that little case there should be fine either way let's move over to the next objective uh, and set up that one here we are then on party room and office. This is going to be a quite a hard one to defend. I'm just going to put it straight out there. I actually like to kind of do a loose roam as Fenrir on this objective. So I like to play a little bit further away from objective, but also allow myself a safe passage back to objective. First and foremost, going to stick one on the top of this window, making sure that anyone who jumps in is going to get hit by that. Once again, you can stick another one on the bottom of that window. Same thing. It's going to really just protect you from those two windows when playing in and around this objective we're then going to stick the third one in this area on the back of the staircase protecting you from anyone on the stairs once again in pair with barbed wire is the best option and then what we're going to do is obviously open up a rotate around here this is how i would set up with a fen rear it gives you a safe passage back to objective if you feel like that doorway isn't a safe way to enter back through and then what we're going to do is with the last two dread mines we're going to stick one on the top of that doorway uh, alternatively you can come in here stick it on or around the ball but it's not really the best way to do that once again there's probably going to be some kind of rotate here and what you're going to want to do is come through and either put it either up here uh, in this little corner here or stick it on the doorway the trusty old top of the doorway strat uh, once again and with all of this set up it should lock down the majority of the actual objective once again i do like playing a loose room as fenrir on that side of the objective with that being said let's go over to the final objective for this map here we are then on the final objective it's going to be laundry room and piano room this is going to be another quite hard one to defend mainly because of this doorway so you don't really want to put one here but you can you can put one on the top of there if anyone entering through that way is going to spot it i would put one here though just because it is it's just going to be a great option because uh, a lot of people try coming straight through here and gain access straight to the objective i like to double reinforce this one by putting one on that doorway as well and then coming over to this staircase is where we're going to be putting our next dread mine on the top uh, back of that staircase going to make it so you can uh, really tell when they're coming up and obviously if it gets detonated you can always jump over the top here as well uh, and try and surprise them final two dread mines then we're going to stick one on this window you can stick it on the top is fine stick it on the bottom or anywhere around here it is actually quite fine uh, you can always open up that hatch for a little bit of an escape route this is going to be reinforced so i wouldn't worry about it too much what i would instead do is either stick one on this window because this is a very key area of the map uh, and then if you want to not double reinforce this area uh, what you can do is also stick one on this doorway here or up here if you want protection from this window this one is a very big objective you're going to want to be very careful uh, with how you play this objective because 
there's so many entry points it's such a maze around here that you're just not really going to be able to watch every angle at once like you can on some of the other maps but with that being said that is the final objective of outback setup thank god because i hate this map uh, and let's move over to the next one the next map we're going to be having a look at then is emerald plain starting off with the dining room and kitchen objective it's going to be a semi straightforward one to uh play as femre the first thing you're going to want to do is put one on this window uh, i find that this window and this reinforced wall is the most attacked area of this objective so this is going to be a key area of the map what i would then do is double reinforce this by chucking one you know either side of this doorway make it so that if anyone actually does make it through and make it straight into the objective they get hit once again uh, you can also stick one on this doorway uh, and what I normally do is I usually play a Rooney on this objective but as a Fenrir uh, what I do is play here uh, this in combination with the Rooney uh, is probably going to be the strongest combination on this map I feel like with that being said the next two uh, dread mines are going to take place on the a bomb so we're going to stick one straight on the doorway so if they manage to squeeze through uh, if you stick one just like behind this chair or whatever if they manage to squeeze through uh, I'm pretty sure this will activate underneath these chairs so they'll get hit as soon as they try swinging over here overall i think they're the best placements for the dread mines i don't think you can really get any better positions for this objective so let's move over to the next one and see how we set up that one the next objective we're going to be having a look at then is going to be the bar and lounge area and it's quite hard to uh, defend this one we're going to stick one straight on the top of that one uh, and then we're also going to hide one up here now if you want even more security and you're going to want to slow them down as much as possible through this route because they love coming through this doorway you can also hide one up in that little corner and as you can see from an attacking point of view once again uh, it's going to be quite hard to spot unless you're really like looking for it or if you see it or catch it out the corner of your eye or something like that moving over towards b side then you're going to want to put one on the top of this doorway that's going to be a key one to put down uh, and if you think they're going to push this area of the map you can also just stick one straight up there if you want it more incognito you can hide it in and amongst these shelves as well or on the back side of this little wooden case with that being said let's move over to the next objective for emerald plains the next objective for emerald plains is probably going to be the hardest one it's going to be the art gallery and what is this room called the meeting room this one's going to be as i said quite a hard one to defend they can always get an angle from that rappel but i don't see enough people using that so a quick tip for you if you're playing on emerald plains try use this repel get on the roof use this repel it gives you a great sight line straight into the bomb site uh, and you can actually catch quite a few people off guard but with that tip out of the way uh, our second fnat dread mine is going on the top of this doorway so we got one uh, on each of the doorways going straight into the b bomb site if you want some more intel on the stairs you can always hide one in there you can hide one up there that's gonna be a great way to tell when they've come up the stairs and then with our final two we're gonna kind of lock down the a side of the objective so sticking one straight on the doorway it's gonna be a great option for you uh, and what i like to do is either sticking one on top of this window because they love coming up through this window or if you think they're going to come through this area of the map instead what you can do is stick one on this little archway for the stairs uh, or even just on the back side of this doorway and make sure you always reinforce this goddamn wall whenever i have teammates that don't reinforce this wall while i'm trying to set up site it pisses me off so guys Please reinforce this wall on Emerald Plains. Uh, it really, really annoys me. <laughs> With that being said, though, that is how I'd set up this objective. Let's have a look at the final objective, uh, which is actually going to take place in this room here in Admin. Here we are then, final objective is going to be CEO office and admin. As I just said, the bomb is literally right here. I would think I was standing right here when I signed that one off. What we're going to do is immediately lock down the stairs area. You can either stick it on the top of that, or if you want a little bit more info, uh, you can stick it on the back side of that. It's going to be a great way to determine when they're coming up the stairs. And once again, always with stairs comes barbed wire. Say it with me, guys. Stairs come with barbed wire. Uh, I don't know why I hype that one up but next thing we're gonna do stick it on both of the entry points into admin this is gonna really lock down this side of the map uh, and with the final two uh, we're gonna put them a side now you can always take off one of these dread mines uh, it's really up to you and how you want to set up the objective but you basically need one on this window because they love coming through this window so much. So stick one down in that corner so that if anyone jumps in, uh, it will aid you in that gunfight. You can also hide one in this little corner. So if they come down this way, uh, or you can hide them uh, on the back of this like this so that anyone who comes around this corner will get hit by uh, your dread mine around there. But it's all down to preference, really. What 
I prefer to do is actually come around into the meeting room and stick you one in this meeting room because sometimes there's rotates uh, in this wall or in this wall. Uh, sometimes there's head height holes here that people like to play. Uh, and if someone's playing in this room, you're going to want to help them out with a little tread mine up there. Or if it's even you or your squad mates playing up here, maybe stick one a little bit further out so you can give them a call out on when they're about to be attacked. But with that being said, that's the final objective for Emerald Plains. Let's move over to the next map. Here we are then on the next map. As you can see, we are going to be doing Stadium Bravo. This is actually kind of a blend between coastline and border. So it's going to be very similar to those two maps. But as you can see, it's not going to be identical. So starting off with the service and kitchen objective. Once again, we're going to heavily reinforce this doorway. Uh, sometimes they put a rotate in here. Uh, we are going to double do it this time around as well. Because this area of the map is still attacked so much uh, when compared to the rest of it. Uh, and with the final two uh, it's very easy just to stick them there uh, and forget about them because this window a lot of people do jump in through that window still uh, and this doorway is really the only other entry point other than that side of the map so this is really going to be the only way of setting up on this objective you can't really play around with it too much unless you only opt for one of these dread mines here then it gives you one more to play around with which you can put on this doorway instead or if you want a little bit more protection on this objective you can stick it here so if they push it up uh, they get hit on the objective but it's all down to you with that being said let's move over to the next one next objective we're going to be having a look at then is server and shower room i'd highly recommend sitting a rotate up around in here because otherwise there's really no safe passage between the objectives with that set up then the first thing you're going to do is stick on on this doorway you can push this one out a little bit uh, to like up here but it really depends on which way they attack from because i find not many re people really attack through this objective so i like just sticking one on that objective and that will pretty much cover this entire v bomb what i'm then going to do is stick one on the key doorways uh, and with the final two dread mines it depends if you open up into this room uh, you don't really need to have a rotate into this room as much as on the actual border map but you can still stick one on the doorway there that will also cover this doorway if they do come in through this window and then you have one more to play around with uh, if you want to secure this area of the objective you can stick on there you can stick on back here in case they come back behind there uh, you can always stick it on top of that doorway as well that will give you intel on if they're in this side of the room the only downside to sticking one there is obviously the fact that they can just look through this bulletproof glass and see it they can ping it through the wall and everyone who is going to be entering the side of the map or coming through that way or even come from up top will know that it is there and anyone from stairs can just shoot it with that being said let's move on to the next map here we are then on the next objective we're going to be doing vip and penthouse the first one you're going to want to place is there if you want to double reinforce this area you can always stick one up behind on that banister the next thing we're going to do is come running over this way we're going to stick one on this doorway and if you want to stick one in this area uh, you can hide it just behind here on the wall or you can throw it just above there uh, and what that'll do is that'll cover anyone who's jumped down then you'll know if anyone has dropped that hatch. You can also stick another one on top of that window or down in either of the corners if you think they're gonna jump through that way. And then with the final one or two, depending on how, how many you have left, uh, I highly recommend you stick one up there. Uh, and this window can be a very high traffic area as well. With that being said, that is it for this objective. Let's move over to the next one. Here we are then on the next objective. It's going to be armories and archives, pretty much the exact same objective as on border. Uh, and you can still use that same trick from earlier Earlier on in the video as well you can run out here uh, and you can try hide one up on these banisters and stuff uh, obviously you won't be able to play on that doorway as much but what that will then allow you to do is see when someone's getting hit swing and peek if you're playing close to this doorway but i'm not going to do it because it's not as effective on this objective so what we're next going to do is going to come over and stick one on this window i feel like this window is more of a heavily attacked one rather than that one so what i do is stick it on the bottom of that window and then what i'm going to do is stick one on top of here we're going to come around stick one in here kind of similar as to what we did with uh, the border map uh, and then with our last one we're going to want to lock down this doorway and you can always double bring force this area of the map once again uh, by sticking any around here either way that is it for stadium bravo let's have a look at the final map in the entire video 
Here we are then on the final map of the entire video, Nighthaven Lab, starting off with tank and assembly. This objective is going to be a pretty interesting one to hold because if attackers manage to open up this ball, which should be reinforced and electrified, uh, what you're going to want to do is stick one on this corner. What that's going to do is make it so if they do open that up uh, and try to jump through, you're going to be able to try and hold them off and try and stop them from planting a lot easier. What we're then going to do is come over to the staircase that's over here uh, and we're just going to stick one on the side of this this will make it so anyone who comes down the stairs is just going to get hit by one of your dread mines you can also optionally stick one in this room which is uh, an a-ok -okay one to do you can also push it back to here but it is all down to preference what we're then going to do is stick another one on here uh, and then we're going to come through round to this staircase uh, and we're going to do the same thing we're just going to stick one up on this corner and that will once again cover the stairs with that being said that is it for the first objective of night haven labs let's move over to the next one here we are then on the next objective which is going to be the storage area and control room and this is going to be an interesting one to hold now first and foremost always open up uh, some kind of rotate going between these objectives otherwise it's going to be very difficult for you to rotate between these objectives and then what we're going to do is get the key doorways first and foremost that'll be both of those uh, and this window this window is a key point because if they jump through this window it will literally lead them straight onto the b objective so you definitely do not want that now what i do with my last one is either stick one here or stick one on this doorway that will just let you know if they're coming through this side of the map what i'm going to do is stick it there uh, when it's placed there you can really take advantage of it uh, a little bit more than what you could before optionally you can also still just put one here and here uh, and that will lock down this whole area of the map and technically this doorway uh, but what i would opt to do instead is just to stick a dread mine up on there now the only weak point now of this objective is if they manage to get in through this way uh, without being shot or anything like that they can just jump through this uh this window uh, and then they are on the objective but hopefully you know you and your teammates will be on the bomb site so it shouldn't be too big of a problem with that being said let's take a look at the third objective for nighthaven labs here we are then on the next objective it's going to be servers and command center the first two dread mines we're going to do is to lock down this area of the map barbed wire is always welcome in this area because it's just a, an annoying area to hold you can also reinforce one of these two double walls and then put in feet holes but then someone would have to play behind this desk to really take advantage of that but it's all down to you moving on over to the b side of the objective there's going to be a little bit more entry points to cover now you're going to want to reinforce this uh, and this is going to be a key area of the map that the attackers are going to try and open for this objective uh, what i'm going to do is stick one on top of here and then we're going to come through over this way what we're going to do is not stick one there instead what we're going to do is either opt to stick one here or on top of this doorway it's really up to you once again i'm going to stick one here because then it will give me uh, a little bit more reaction time they'll come over here uh, and as you can see that one's actually kind of gone a little bit sideways but uh, with barbed wire here it will slow them down it'll limit their vision uh, and i'd play really close to this doorway if you know that they're coming uh, and then you can swing and take advantage of it as soon as they detonate it and then with that final one as i said you can always stick one here or you can try and hide one say there or you can push it a little bit further down and stick one here even though it looks quite obvious if you stick it right in there they really can't even see it unless it's activated then they'll see that they're a little bit sticking out but once again you really can't notice until you get quite close and then you see the purple accents it's really up to you but with that being said that is the final dread mine on the final objective of the final map if you guys made it this far thank you for watching this far i highly doubt you guys sat there for two hours in one sitting if you did let me know down in the comments but i really appreciate you guys watching this far it took so long to record and edit this video i think i've been recording over the course of like three different days i've been editing it over the course of five different days so far it's been a very big video i've never made a video this long before uh and i really appreciate you guys tuning in so if you did make it this far and you want some more tips click the video on screen subscribe if you guys are new around here i hope to see you in future videos and without further ado guys enjoy playing fenrir and i'll see you next time